Today, I'm going to take a pencil sharpener and I'm going to try attaching it to a drill to help speed things up if you've got a lot of pencils to sharpen. You can just put a pencil in the drill, start rotating it and push the sharpener onto the end. But it does take a bit of time putting the pencil in the chuck, tightening it up, sharpening it, then undoing it and removing it again. And it's questionable to whether it's actually any quicker than just sharpening them by hand. And I also found the chuck damages the end of the pencil. So I wanted to attach the sharpener to the drill instead. I started by taking a metal pencil sharpener and I carefully removed the blade. Then I took a small bolt, dropped it into the end of the sharpener here and reattached the blade which helped clamp the bolt in place. Then I took a nut and tightened it up to help clamp the bolt onto the sharpener. Next I put it into the drill to see if it would work. I took a blunt pencil and tried it out. It looked quite promising but it didn't seem to work. So I tried a different pencil, but the same thing happened. What I found was it was snapping off right at the end of the sharpener here. And every time I tried it, the same thing happened. I think this was happening because the sharpener hole wasn't quite in line with the drill, which makes the whole thing wobble up and down and makes it difficult to use. And I also found it makes a really big mess underneath the drill. So I decided to try making one out of a canister like this. You need to make sure the sharpener is right in the middle to keep it all in line. And this one's nice because you can see through the sides to watch it filling up. And we'll start by drilling a hole through the bottom, right in the middle, here. First, select a bolt and make sure you've got a drill bit which is just big enough for the bolt to go through. Then carefully drill your hole through the base of the sharpener. Next, take your bolt, slide on a metal washer and I'm using a rubber washer to help the bolt grip the sharpener without damaging it. Slide this through the hole in the sharpener, like this and do the same arrangement on the other side. Add a nut and tighten it up with a screwdriver. It should look like this. Screw the lid back on and it's ready to test out in your drill. You can see already that the hole spins a lot truer than my last attempt and it's got the added benefit of collecting the rubbish. So take a pencil and give it a go. Pretty cool, huh? I found it works really well and it's so quick to use. You can just leave it in the chuck and sharpen loads of pencils really, really quickly.
you can see when it's full up. Then just remove it. And empty it out into the bin. And it's ready to go again. Perfect if you're going back to school, or maybe you're a teacher and you're sharpening pencils for the whole class. I also made one out of this metal canister, which I made in the same way. Although I didn't need to use washers, because the metal base of the canister was strong enough for me to tighten the bolt directly onto. Of course it works in the same way, but I really like the metal finish as an extension to the drill. It's really fun to use. And if you make one, you'll be looking for more blunt pencils so you can carry on using it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links on the right hand side or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.